I'm going to convert this image to a comic book style cartoon image. Let's get start. Hi everyone, welcome to Graphiculator YouTube channel. I have opened this image in Photoshop. Let's start the edit. First of all I'm going to make a duplicate layer of this layer. You can drag this layer and drop it to the new layer icon at the bottom of the layer panel. Or you can select the original layer and hit Ctrl J, Command J on Mac to create a duplicate layer. And I'm going to edit this image in non-destructive way. Which means that you can revert back to your original file to any time. Any of these filters I use for this edit will not affect to the original file. Okay. To do this, we need to convert this top layer to a smart object. Right click on the top layer. And convert to smart object. Now you can see that there is a tiny black mark appear at the bottom right corner of the thumbnail of top layer. That means this layer is now converted to a smart object. Now you can add smart filters for this layer. You can edit or delete these filters anytime you need. With select smart object layer at the top. Go the filters. And filter gallery. This will open up this window. You need to select the poster edge filter from the filter list at right side. And go to the poster edges settings. You can see the filter preview here. Bring down edge thickness and edge intensity to zero. I will leave posterization as 2 in this case. This depends on the image you selected. Once it done, hit OK. You can now see that this filter applied to the smart layer we selected. Also in the layer palette, you can see that this filter has been added as a smart filter. You can hide, edit or delete these filters as you need. And again with select the same layer. Go again to the filters. And this time select oil paint filter. You need to play around with the settings on oil paint filter. I will set stylization as 5. Cleanliness is as 3. Scale is 4. Bristle details also set to 0. You need to keep in mind that these values will need to change according to the image you select. Main target of this filter is to get this smooth oil paint effect to the image. And it is really important that you set these lighting settings to 0. Once it done click OK. You can now see this oil paint filter also applied to the image on top of the poster edge filter. This is the original image, and this is the after. We need to add one more filter to this layer to make this image bit sharp. Go to the filter. Sharpen. Unsharp mask. And I'll change the amount to 100. Radius to 5. And threshold to 10. You can check preview on and off from here. Now you can see all the filters I used for this layer is listed here. And I'm going to make a duplicate layer of the smart object layer and all the filters in it. Select the layer and hit Ctrl J, Command J on Mac to make a duplicate layer. You can see that all the filters which I added to the previous layer also duplicated with this new layer. Now I'm going to make some changes for the filters in this new layer. and double click on top of the poster edge filter. Click OK in this message. Now you can see this same window we saw before with same settings. In this time, I'll increase edge intensity little bit. Now you can see this outline effect in this preview. And increase the edge thickness and edge intensity to 4 in this time. Now you can see this black outline in this image. And again I'm going to edit the unsharp mask in this new layer. Double click on unsharp mask effect. And increase the amount to 150. Radius to 8. And threshold to 20. OK. Now select the new layer at the top and go to the blending modes in layer palette. Change blending mode from normal to overlay. It will increase the color vibrancy in image as you can see here. You can drop down the layer opacity if need. And I'm going to create an adjustment layer on top of these layers. 
Go to the adjustment layers at the bottom of the layer palette. Click on Vibrance. It will create an adjustment layer on top of these layers. You can see the Properties panel over here. Increase the vibrance and saturation by using this Properties panel until it looks okay to you. Okay, that's it. Now you can compare the original image and our edit to see the difference. This looks okay for me. And thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button if you like this video. And please share this video to see someone else also. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my new videos. Thank you.